that uh, Dr. Vic Victor Frankel has made uh, in a book that first came out half a century ago called The Doctor and the Soul. Victor Frankel uh, uh, was, and still is, I believe, uh, a, um, a survivor of a uh, Nazi concentration camp as a young man. And his analysis uh, is to categorize values that give life meaning into three categories. Creative values, experiential values, and attitudinal values. Creative values, Beethoven wrote symphonies. Uh, great, wonderful creative values. Shakespeare, if it was Shakespeare, wrote wonderful literature. If it wasn't Shakespeare, well then whoever it was wrote wonderful literature. Maybe we don't care so much who it was, because we've got it. Um, um, farmer from rural Fergus Falls built a grandfather clock uh, that we bought and it sits in our home. Uh, he must have achieved great creative value in building that. Uh, I once taught myself with the help of uh, Embert Larson's father, uh, blacksmith in town uh, here at Fergus Falls, to become a pretty good welder. Uh, I got uh, a lot of creative value uh, from that and also from my ability as, as a gardener at one time. Um, creative values, you can all think of creative values. Uh, uh, quilt making, knitting, crocheting, uh, uh, on and on. Make your own list of creative values. <clears throat> they give life meaning, and they give life meaning in, in the face of injustice uh, in many other categories. Experiential values, to be able to appreciate that Beethoven symphony or that Shakespeare poem or all the other music or literature. To be able to appreciate a sunset, to take a look at it, uh, to enjoy a spring uh, when the robins sing all night sometimes. Um, uh, many other, if you can't create, but you can still experience, there are values that can be enjoyed even in the face of the injustice that life has dealt you or somebody has dealt you and you can't do anything about it. But finally, attitudinal values. <clears throat> uh, Helen Keller deciding that in spite of the fact that she was deaf and blind, she was going to find value in life which would give life meaning for her and for a whole lot of other people. It turned out Stephen Hawking, who I mentioned, uh, Nelson Mandela and Aung San Suu Kyi, who I have struggled to pronounce uh, uh, the, her name, um, all have found value in life and given value to others in the face of injustice. Um, <clears throat> and my favorite example of all is Cool Hand Luke. Um, I strongly recommend uh, that you uh, uh, get the movie if you haven't seen it. Um, cool Hand Luke saying, I can swallow 68s. Uh, <clears throat> that's an attitude, no value. Uh, he was not going to be. Uh, he was not going to be overcome by the situation uh, that he was in. So I think there is value in life in the face of injustice. Uh, we all need to try to do something about about injustice if we can. Uh, we all we need to do something about justice that is in itself an injustice. We got too many people in prison in this country. Uh, we've got laws that. Uh, that uh, send people to prison uh, unnecessarily and unwisely. Uh, we've got a lot of un unfair law. Um, Justice Brandeis, who I, I was going to quote and ran out of time, um, a very famous uh, justice of the, of the U.S. Supreme Court, talked about the worst the injustice of all is the government violating its own laws. Well, have we got any examples of that? Is the CIA uh, a part of government? I kind of think so. Uh, what about the Secret Service uh, down in Colombia? Uh, you know, uh, there, uh, there are all kinds of examples, but maybe we can find life meaning through what meaningful in what we create, in what we experience, or in 
or attitude. They're not going to get the best of me. Great talking with you.